Hello Leo, welcome. My name is Donna. We're getting ready to do your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be published the third week of July, but the reading is timeless, so take it as it resonates. Okay, the bottom of the deck energy. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Leo, you are in love, my friend. You want to invest in something. You want to have passion. You're trying to be slow and steady. You need to open up your feelings you know that there was some sort of misunderstanding in a, a relationship, in your relationship that you're coming to look at. You recognize that you really have to make a few changes here to have the love relationship that you want. All right. In the recent past, your mutual energy with another person is trying to find balance, trying to be fair, trying to be good to each other. Libra energy, it's beautiful. It's being fair, doing the right thing. Your current energy, Leo, is that you want to nurture your loved one. I'm getting that you really feel as though you want to take good care of this person. You're doing things that are trying to help them. You're trying very much. You really want balance. You want stability. You're insisting on it. You also want a passionate new beginning with somebody. Ooh, you view somebody as a snake in the grass, though. You feel as though you can't trust your person. You feel as though they're up to something deceptive or no good. Ooh, Leo, ouch. Seven of Swords. Now, there is another way, and that is that you're hiding the fact that you want this person. The other way, you know, every, every card has two different ways to interpret it, at least. But we're also seeing is that you may be hiding your desire for this person. In your heart space, Leo, you're trying to heal. You're, you're getting a lot of rest. You need to get a lot of rest. You've been through a very, very tough time lately. Ten of coins, look at that. How you, you view the future with your person in your life. You want your love life. You have somebody with whom you'd like to really marry. You definitely know that. You, I don't think you've told this person. I feel as though you don't trust this person. But you're trying to, there is something about this person that in the past you felt was nurturing and balanced. So you are willing to continue to see where what can come of this. The Ten of Coins card says that you are very much still invested in the relationship and loving them. The Three of Swords card indicates that there was probably a third party situation. Leo, you could have put this person in a third party situation. That could be part of the problem. Why your person, because this card here can mean that you don't trust them, but they don't trust you either. A third party situation is the reality of the situation. It looks as though from your standpoint, you may have split your affection between this person and someone else, especially if you're married. The Ace of Swords says that you want to reconcile your differences and get back together. And you want a new beginning. You want a brand new start with somebody. But here's what you don't see. You know, it's you understand that with a new start comes a lot of risk, okay? So you do see the risk. So let's clarify the cards and see what's going on here. Leo, Leo, what is happening in your love life? That Seven of Swords card is really jumping out at me. Okay. So, Leo, the Justice card is here. Why? The Justice card can be um, a third-party situation with the third with the Three of Swords. It can indicate there's been cheating in a marriage. For those of you who are married, for those of you who are in a you're in love with your third party, it looks as though you haven't told this person. It looks as though you can't get them out of your mind. You are spying on them and watching them. The mommy dearest, not mommy dearest, the mother energy, the queen of pentacles, is beautiful. You feel as though your person is very gorgeous. They give a lot. They're very nurturing. You love this person. Leo, Leo. You love this person. You might have a child with this person, but at least you've done you've spent some time with them. This is not a new connection at all. 
The two of coins, it looks like you juggled two people, or they juggled two people. Take it as it resonates. If you don't trust them, it's because you think that they were juggling you. You think that they're a liar. If you were the person who was married and juggling somebody else in a third party situation, you have really not told this person how much you love them, how much you care about them, and how much you covet and desire their affection and love and what they bring to the table. The Ace of Wands is here. Two of Cups, there you go. You want a brand new passionate beginning. You want it with your soulmate. Let's see who this soulmate is. It's coming up as Cancerian energy. It does look like there was breadcrumbing in the relationship prior to this, and it looks like you walked away from them. It looks as though you just didn't think that they were trustworthy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What is going on with the Seven of Swords? The truth, the whole truth, and... The truth be told here is that there was a lot of lying and deception in this relationship. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why do you feel such a need to heal? Five of Cups. You feel as though somebody owes you an apology. Why would somebody owe you an apology? They were Lance Romance, but they didn't live up to... What is it that they didn't live up to? They didn't really act on it. They made promises they had no intention of keeping is what I'm seeing. You feel as though this person was dishonest to you, that they said what they had to say to get you in bed or you them. The Fool card, yeah. You would like a new beginning with this person, though. Somebody that you thought you were going to get rid of, you actually now see the person as having told you the truth. You don't see this person as being untrustworthy since you do want a new beginning with them and your outcome is a new beginning. It looks like you've settled on trying to bring this back together with this person. Why is a Fool card here in this relationship page of wands? It looks like there's communication right now. I don't think there's necessarily progress in this relationship. Let's see what we have here. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming in for you. So it does tell us and speak to the fact that destiny is giving you a helping hand right now, Leo. King of Cups energy. Leo, you have not really told this person that you really love them. You see them as very abundant. You see the future with them as being a very beautiful relationship in which you would love each other deeply. We had the Queen of Cups there, the King of Cups. We have Divine Partnership. Leo, 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 Leo! This is what you want. This is what you both want. No matter how you cut it, no matter what's happened, you both want this really strong legacy energy. Both of you really are, you both hold the same values. You, vote, you both very much want wealth and abundance. For you, it's not enough just to be madly in love, although that is incredible. It is what drives you both towards this relationship. But you have the ability, the two of you have the ability to become a power couple. The Knight of Swords, somebody is rushing in with something to say, Leo. You are the other person. Oh, nice. Queen of Pentacles energy yet again. You're really, I feel as though this is you, Leo. You could very well be the person who's coming in. You definitely want to tell someone that you love them. You definitely want to nurture the relationship. I do get Seven of Swords energy. Why is there Seven of Swords here? Because you love them. You didn't tell them. You never told your person. No wonder this went sideways. No wonder you see that you have to be more open, even though you don't necessarily. You want to show your person in tangible ways that you love them. That's the way you show your love, Leo. That's how I'm getting it. And so what we see is that you definitely want a reconciliation. You will tell them that you love them. You will tell them what you think of them, that you really respect them. What's the clarity that you're bringing into the relationship or what's the clarity at this time in the situation? How is it going to unfold? What is spirit advising? Move forward. Heal this relationship and move forward. It's a relationship that's well worth healing. It's Aquarius. Be invested. Show your person. 
tell yeah anyway. spirit is also telling you that being mysterious smoky trails is not the way to go tell your person what you value in them hold on to them don't let them walk away you have to share that give up those burdens okay so let's see what we have your outcome card says that you're off to a new beginning oh my god <laughs> now we have the four of wands okay so Leo, you want to marry your person. Your person wants to marry you. Tell us something else about this situation. Neither of you have done that yet. You're both sort of waiting in silence to see what the other person says. You both have fire in your belly for this relationship. You both want it. Oh, it's almost like there are two bosses. Both of you are coming in in this emperor energy. Nine of Swords, you're both all up in your head. Just stop it. Stop it. Have fun. Go out. Drink. Have fun. Make love. You really need to get into your emotions. The emotional spirit, the emotional life is what will drive this relationship. Whoever it is here that's holding back, whether it's you or the other person, Leo, they have to come to the table and they have to open up. Without that, you just, you know, it's almost like you can't, you guys are on a slippery slope. There has to be openness. I do see a reunion. I see a marriage. I am seeing a marriage. As crazy as this all feels right now to you, Leo, you really do know that this person is your, the person with whom you really want to be with, even though it's been a struggle. We get your, your guardians and your ancestors are telling you that you are not alone. They're help. Oh, they're helping you. A feather, a beautiful feather, lifting you up, making you more airborne. Let's see what we have for the guided messages from the Forest Oracle on how to stay grounded at this time, Leo. How to stay grounded at this time? Let's see what we have. Bear spirit healing. Okay, so. You know, that's what Spirit is saying. You guys need to heal your relationship. You need to be very, very resilient. You need to stand by each other. The bear spirit is a mother bear. Protect this relationship. Protect it with a lot of effort. Leo, that's your reading. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.